Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we'll talk about top 5 flowering creepers that bloom profusely during summers and monsoon. Easily available in any nursery and they're very much easy to care and maintain as well. So let's check out the list. So the first plant from our list is garlic vine. As the name suggests, its flowers and leaves smell like garlic. When we crush the leaves, it smells exactly like garlic. They bloom in bunch in purple color and after a few days the uh, flower changes its color from dark purple to light purple till whitish and then they dry up and fall off. The plant loves full sunlight for flowering. However, you can grow them in partial shade also where it gets two to three hours of sunlight and you will see few flowers. But for heavy flowering, you must grow the plant in full sunlight. The entire plant has medicinal properties. Its flowers, stem, leaves, everything, it's used uh, in making medicines. The flowers bloom from early monsoon till October. And uh, an amazing thing about this plant is its leaves can be used as a substitute for garlic. So far, I have never seen any pest attack on this plant. This is absolutely pest free plant. Amazing plant that uh, you can grow in uh, pots and containers as well. Just choose a bigger size pot. I have a separate video on this plant, you can check it in detail. Our next plant is Rangoon, absolutely stunning and highly fragrant. This plant blooms in summers and monsoons profusely. They bloom heavily in bunches and the plant and your creeper will look full of flowers. This plant loves full sunlight for flowering and they can be very easily grown from stem cuttings. Take the tender cutting from the uh, plant, take the top one, leave just two leaves uh, on the plant stem and grow them in cocoa peat. Within few days, they will germinate roots. Very easy to grow in pots and containers as well. Just take bigger size pots and the flowers are highly fragrant. Once they bloom, they remain in the plant for two, three days and then they dry up and shed it from the plant. So far, I have never seen any pest attack on this plant and this doesn't require a lot of fertilizer also. Very easy to grow from cuttings. You can easily grow them in pots and containers. Highly recommended to grow near windows for its fragrant flowers. Our next plant from the list is Bougainvillea. They come in many colors, white, reds, pinks, yellows, shaded ones. And this is the plant that can be grown very easily even in pots and containers. Just take a bigger size pot. pot. To get more flowers in this plant, there is a trick. You need to underwater the plant. That is, you can just water the plant once in four to five days and they will bloom profusely. The plant blooms in summers and in monsoons heavily. They bloom in bunch. This is very easy to grow from their stem cuttings as well, but I would recommend growing them from cuttings during monsoon. You can grow this plant very easily in pots and containers and you can maintain them as a bush. Just keep on pruning the plant, keep on cutting its branches and the plant will look more dense. Water it less and it will produce lots many flowers. So far, I have never seen any pest attack on this plant. Very easy to grow plant, even for those who are beginners in gardening. This plant loves full sunlight for flowering. If you'll grow them in partial shade, they will produce green foliage, but they'll not produce flowers. Another variety comes in this plant with uh, variegated leaves, yellow and green textured leaves. Absolutely stunning plant for growing in your front yard or in your backyard. So our next plant in the list is Cardinal Creeper. This is also called as Lady, Lady Doorley's Morning Glory. Uh, crimson Epomia. This plant belongs to Morning Glory family. They bloom in bright magenta color flowers, bloom in bunch and they bloom uh, during early summers till October, that is late uh, monsoon. 
This plant blooms in full, full sunlight as well as in partial shade. So, uh, for those people who don't get four to five hours of uh, direct sunlight in their balconies or in their houses, they can easily grow this creeper in their uh, home. Even you can grow this plant in big containers or pots. This plant belongs to morning glory family. So their flowers bloom in the morning and by evening they get closed and they bloom for two, three days. Then they uh, get dried up and they shed it from the plant. This is very easy to grow plant almost everywhere except in those areas where it gets uh, dry and humid like coastal areas. The only problem we face with this plant is uh, white powdery mildew or uh, mealybug attack that to during winters. So to deal with that issue, you can just chop off all the infected pla uh, plant leaves and stems and uh, you can spray eucalyptus oil or neem oil along with soapy water solution and you'll get good results. The last plant from our list is Alamanda. They come in two varieties, bush variety as well as in creeper variety. The creeper variety produces flowers in two colors, bright yellow color and pink and purple color. This is another very easy to grow plant from its cuttings. Again, I will recommend uh, growing them from cuttings during monsoon. So far, I have not seen any pest attack on this plant and uh, you can you can easily grow them in pots and containers also. Just make sure to give some support with a thick stick or something. For flowering, you need to grow this plant in full sunlight only. So that's it for today. I hope you find the video helpful and I have separate videos for few plants and I have shared the links in the description box. Please do check it. I'll see you soon with one more video. Till then, bye.